Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to change out the Whirlpool filter plugs. It's a very easy repair and it should only take us a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or order them from AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the filter plug kit, you're going to see that it comes with instructions and four filter plugs. Depending upon your model, you may only use two or you may use all four. There's four holes in the tub. Two of them are a little bit smaller. Don't try to force them in there, though they don't actually go in there. They only go in the bigger holes. On some of the older models, they actually replace big filters that used to go underneath the agitator. You need to take that out, throw it away, and then just put these in the holes that are underneath that. The main reason you'd be changing this out is if you're getting a lot of lint in your clothes and all these fingers are worn out and aren't catching the lint. First we have to go ahead and open up the washer lid to gain access to the inside of the washer. We have to go ahead and remove the fabric dispenser. Our particular model just pulls off. Other fabric dispensers may have a lock ring that you have to pull up on to disengage and then lift up on the fabric dispenser and then there's probably going to be a cap underneath it. You'll have to pry off the cap with a flathead screwdriver. Most models have a dust cap. We need to pull it out so we can get to the agitator bolt. If the dust cap seal is damaged, you should order a new one from AppliancePartsPros.com. Underneath the dust cap is the inner agitator assembly and the agitator hold down bolt. So grab your 7 16 inch socket with a long extension. When you first start to take out the bolt, it may be a little tight. So you have to reach down inside the tub and hold the lower agitator while you break it free. Once you feel that the bolt is all the way out of the threads, lift the agitator out of the washer. The bolt will stay in the agitator. With the agitator out of the way, we can reach down inside the tub and pry the old filter out with a flathead screwdriver. When installing the new filters, make sure that this tab goes to the center of the tub and points at the transmission. All you have to do is reach down and snap them into place. Put the agitator back in the washer. Grab your agitator bolt and your socket, 7 16 inch, and hold your finger onto the screw and guide it back down into the hole. Once you have it in there, go ahead and tighten it down. Once the agitator bolt starts to tighten down, you may have to reach inside the washer tub to hold the lower agitator so it doesn't spin. Once you have the bolt installed, we have to put back in the dust cap. This sometimes goes in and pulls off the seal, so make sure you take a drop of liquid detergent and put it around the edge so it slides down into place nice and easy. We can reinstall any cap or fabric dispenser you took off to get the agitator out. Just go ahead and snap it back in place. Ours is just the snap-in type, so that's all you got to do. Now that we have everything reinstalled, we can go ahead and plug it back in and take it for a test spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.